Hey guys, we're done with work back out on the range here and uh, we're gonna do a review here of the Ruger American Predator rifle and chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Hey guys, I just got back from the range uh, doing the review of this American Predator rifle and uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, I'm really embarrassed. I did not turn the boom on on my microphone out there at the range, which is where I started the review. So I'm gonna have to uh, voice over some of this, which I hate to do. So this review is gonna be sort of pieced together and I'm sorry about that but uh, I did get some good footage some good audio some good pictures and I want to tell you more about the gun and uh, so let me just put this up here in the gun rack alright guys I hate doing this voiceover but let's give give it a shot here I am doofy hat and all let's get the, see if we can get that adjusted there slick alright now we're ready to shoot <laughs> anyway what I'm doing here is I'm out at the range with my Ruger American Predator rifle and chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor for the very first time and what I'm doing let me just show you what I've got with the rifle here I've got a cheap scope on there it's a CV Life 6x24 power scope with Weaver tactical rings one inch rings that are that are high you see the Picatinny rail there I've got it mounted to that comes standard on the Ruger uh, that scope was 52 bucks on Amazon. It's got uh, red or green lit reticle with BDC style drop uh, markers. There's the Ruger Marksman trigger adjustable from 3 to 5 pounds. And I'll pan over here real quick to the uh, muzzle brake I put on it. It's an Odin Atlas specifically made for the 6.5 caliber. I love it. Don't know what it's like to shoot it without it, but I sure love shooting with it. Let me show you the magazine here. Um, the magazine is a detachable magazine. It's a rotary style. It holds four shots. Uh, it seemed to work really well. I haven't had a problem with it. So what I'm doing out here at the range is I'm trying to see what's going to shoot better. The 6.5 Creedmoor 140 grain match bullets there made by Winchester or right there in that plastic box, my pretty maidens all in a row there. Those are my loads that I've made. They're, they're the first loads. I've never reloaded. They're 100 grain Amax bullets and I want to see which is going to shoot better. So so here I am settled down into the bench. You'll see here that there's about an 8 to 12 mile an hour crosswind depending when I shoot. We're going to start off with the Winchester 140 grain match bullets and the sounds of the bullets that you hear are actually from my camera downrange right by the target. Here comes shot one. I was pretty happy with that shot and let's prep for shot two here it comes shot number two and here comes shot number three beautiful I'm super happy with that let's get ready for shot number four here we go shot number four so I was super happy with that group. I had to turn to the camera and say how pleased I was, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we'll cut the rest out because you can't hear me. So now it's time to see how I do with my 100 grain Amax self-loaded Hornadies. Here comes shot one. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Shot two. Good. Beautiful. Here comes shot three. Holy mackerel! <laughs> oh, what happened there? And here comes shot four. Holy mackerel! Overcorrect! Overcorrect! Anyway, stay th through the end of the video to hear my explanation on this. But for now, back to my 100 grain Hornady Amax bullets. I was super disappointed in that group of four. So let's see if I can turn it around here on this second group of four. And I'm going to go ahead and speed through this real quick, you guys, so we can get through this review. So it's going to be in fast time. There's shot one. Coming up here for shot number two. Great. I was really excited about that as well. I appear to be making some improvements. So let's see if we can keep it together for shot number three. Not horrible. Better than before. And let's see where I end up with uh, shot number four. So much improved. So excited that we made those improvements. So 
So you can see my uh, 100 grain Hornady Amax reloaded bullets straight from the, well, I mean, they're, they've they never been shot before, but I did load them myself. That top right corner, the top right target, and the bottom target were both the same bullets, but I settled down a little bit on that uh, bottom target and had a much better grouping, as you can see. So, I mean, it's much more comparable to the top left target with the 140 grain Winchester match ammunition at 100 yards. So. Anyway, <laughs> I got more things to say about this gun, the scope, the bullets when I get home, but I'd like to do it uh, in my man room out of this wind so that you guys can hear. All right, thanks. This bolt is a, a 70 degree, gosh, I can't do this by myself. It's a 70 degree bolt, so it'll clear you know all of your scopes, which is nice. Um, I haven't had any problems with chambering rounds or anything like that. I did have somebody else on YouTube, they talk about how this magazine comes out from under the bottom and clips up here with this little, well it's, where, where am I here, this, this little uh, spring-loaded lever right here and they say that the magazine could fall out too easily. Well this is my second American Ruger Predator rifle. I've never had a problem with this magazine falling out when it, you know, on accident or whatnot. I've just never had that issue. It's always worked um, just fine for me. It snaps up in there, has a nice look. It's nice and flush. I've never had a problem with that. I, I had to sand this barrel. A lot of guys on YouTube I saw were having a problem. They're supposed to be free-floated barrels, but they really, they really stick up here where the stock meets the barrel. And I've had to sand all of that to to get that contact away from the barrel. And even though I've sanded down here, you can see there it's still not a free-floating barrel. So I have some more sanding left to do. I mounted a UTG tactical bipod up front. It's really sweet little gizmo here. I'll show you how easily this bipod just pops off. Anyway, with the lever, it just pops off like that and just as easily goes back on. Let me just lend a few uh, final thoughts on this gun and on the shooting I've done so far. I don't think you can go wrong with this Ruger American Predator rifle. Frankly, I'm not that great of a shooter. I haven't been shooting all that many years. I'm just not that good. I haven't studied the art of shooting. I'm just an average guy who loves to hunt and who gets out as often as he can. So, but when you can take a rifle that's at my local gun shop right now for $369 off the shelf and shoot factory ammunition loads and get three quarters of an inch at 100 yards, for me, I don't think I could do anything better than that um, if I spent a thousand bucks. And again, here's my hand loads. This is my second round of hand loads with the Hornady Amax bullets that I was shooting. You know, that first that first set, I just, I was squirrely. I was a little nervous. My heart rate was up. And I frankly was nervous about shooting my own reloads. I've never shot my own reloads before. I just started. So I think that explains some of the discrepancy of why I had some of these, this horrible first grouping. I was frankly just nervous about reloading and uh, firing bullets that I made myself. Guys, I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to my channel? I'm trying hard, I'm working. Anyway, hit the like button on my videos. Subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Share my website with your friends and uh, help me grow here. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm not selling anything. Uh, I just like showing people what I do. So go ahead and subscribe to my page.